And Chris, you were the group caller tonight. What happened last time? Last time we, um, having been rebuffed from, uh, what, the bridge or something by some dwarves that uh, demanded 300 gold, uh, we went back and we began our attempt to uh, make that 300 gold, which was mostly taken up with uh, uh, meeting a bunch of new people um, and getting ourselves a little bit ensconced in the uh, doings of uh, Karn Boldar. Is that right? Thangara Droom. Oh, okay. I thought that, that is, that's the that's the dwarven town or whatever that we're near. Yeah, the humans call it Bridgetown. So uh, we met with, I can't remember her name, but, uh, oh, Fleece. Fleece, how could I forget? Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, we found an entrance, saw it guarded, and decided to come back at a later time um, and start fresh. And uh, I believe that's the goal this evening, is to head back to that entrance and and uh, do our business. Um, yeah. Oh, also, I need a link. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. My <laughs> bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's going to be a dungeon crawl. I have a feeling I'm going to need the link. You usually tell that I forgot about that when there's no epic music during the recap. <laughs> It's all theater of the mind and uh, latest in charge of, of music. Yeah. Or With your best oops and bops. <laughs> I mean, Chris has his guitar back there and is a musician, so you have to actually be the bard. That's the action. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that could be funny. <laughs> well, you could, if, if we're dungeon crawling, you could get away with just like the thing, uh, the thing theme music, just ding, ding. <laughs> I, I've had what, someone what, do what, that. What about a tambourine? You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've had someone like be like, "Okay, you want me to sing?" And then they just started singing. I was like, "All right, well, you did, you did the thing." I'd probably wake up every goblin in a five-mile radius. <laughs> <laughs> Eldrin Pedriel be like Pippin when he, you know, tweaks the skeleton and there it goes. Okay. There we go. Ooh, look out. <laughs> that link work? I'm in. Yep. I haven't got it yet. Oh, really? Let me see here. I have been forgotten. You have not. What is going on? Cut it. Let me see here. Here you go. And by the way, Bertie, your your gif reminds me that it's it might be time to try and watch. I might have to like do the the one month trial of Paramount Plus or whatever I need to do, or CBS or whatever I need to do to just watch Star Trek for a month <laughs> and cancel it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just because, uh, yeah, man, Goldicott, or no, not, that's, that's not, that's Garen. Does it get any better than the Taylor? Yeah, I love his character. <laughs> the funny thing is I was a, a Star Wars nerd and my husband is a Trekkie and he's kind of gotten me hooked on Star mm -hmm, Trek. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but Garen is you, definitely one of my favorites. Gar Garen is, Garrick is amazing. Is, and, and, yeah. Uh, Garrick, yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, it's been, a, obviously it's been too long, so. Yeah, definitely sign up for that service. <laughs> There's two streamers that carried it last I checked. I could check to see again who it no, is. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it's... Netflix but... for a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we want to go into the dungeon, and we, we don't want to, to waste any time if possible. <laughs> Indeed. With foolish requests. <laughs> and there's Steve. So here we go. You are currently... 
in the uh, the Bent Coin Tavern. You made it back. Your dwarven friend smuggled you. Um, oh dear. Well, it's a good start. I lost his name. I'll have to go back and check. Oh, uh, hey. I might have written it down. Yeah, do you have it? Oh, Start with an H. Tharnal. 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 No, Tharnal is our Arnold? dwarven friend, but Tharnal is. Oh, Tharnal. Har Tharnal. Tharnal. Okay. Yeah. So he helps Arnold? smuggle oh, you okay. back across the, the, kind of silty, milky yellow waters of the Fargruen, is what the dwarves call this north-south river. And by doing so, you're able to just uh, follow him in. It was still nightfall when you arrived, but um, uh, you do need to sleep. Um, and uh, having paid for the uh, for the uh, for the stay here, you have some moldy breakfast that you can eat if you prefer. And the sun rises outside. Um, it seems there are some people here that do work at night. Uh, as it is a noisy and crowded and uncomfortable establishment. but uh, And there are ten of you. Uh, but when you awaken uh, in your cramped uh, straw bed rooms um, and uh, come back down, you find that there's an elf woman here waiting for you as well. Uh, it is the, uh, the elf um, Eldrin, a uh, friend of, uh, of Alara. Uh, or at least you know her, and um, she insists on joining you today. Seems that uh, miraculously, by some means, she has gotten better. What was her name again? Uh, Eldrin Pedrel. Uh, Eldrin. Oh, and furthermore. You can see that there are um, a gaggle of burly people, guards outside, and some that enter the Bitcoin Tavern. And once again, uh, on the second day, it seems uh, about 24 hours later now, uh, a little bit more than that, maybe 30 hours later, um, let's see here, where's she at? Grindelina Fleece stops by the tavern and she says, uh, she says, Oh, I see that you're about to be out about your business today. I just wanted to make sure that you're comfortable in our city and everything is well. Everything is well, is, is it? Oh, and the elf, Eldrin, is it? It's so good to see that you're on your feet. Uh, yes, well, we're 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 glad to see you, and you're welcome to join us. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, not you. I'm talking to talking to her. Oh, you're talking to the elf? Yeah. 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 I just, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> As for you, uh, how much more is on our tab? <laughs> oh, only a modicum of interest. I know that uh, I understand your difficulties. I just, it occurs to me that such strapping and strong adventurers like yourself could find other employment, and I could not imagine you doing something like that to a poor woman like myself. But oh, dragging you into the dungeon? No. Just wanted to note that I hope that our 
deal will stay intact. It would be most unfortunate. Uh, you you ha are back in the tavern today. Did did things not go well yesterday? Oh, things went. Uh, we we had uh, a, some difficulty actually finding the place we were seeking. But it's uh, all part of the job. Yes, we we anticipate great success. Oh, of course, of course. I do as well. I can see it on you. You have a, a mark about you, the All Father on you. I can see that. A destiny, a, a weird. You'll you'll get this job done. I'm sure of it. I have faith in you. But I hope you'll remember uh, your 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 dear friend Grendelina when this is done, and you won't. Uh, well, you won't get distracted with other matters. You mean we won't skip town? No, that's not the idea. Oh, I would never suggest something like that. I just understand the attention of such talented people can be pulled hither and to. That is certainly true. But well, if you ask around, she'll find that we've already turned down a number of offers, right? So you're, you're safe. Yes, we're, we we are focused on the job at hand, which oh. is simply to which is simply to make some money without attaching ourselves in any undue way to the politics of this area. I'm honored that you would do this uh, for our business arrangement, our business arrangement, and uh, well, just. Take the time you need. And she puts her hand on the table and she says, Here at my tavern, my town, take the time you need to get done what you need done. Of course. And then she leaves. Uh, yes, well, no time like the present, I say. Every moment incurs interest. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is... Let's let's uh, let's finish up and be on the road. Yeah. Let's be done with her before she finds a better offer to sell us out to. Is what I'm thinking. All right. You uh, return again to Harnell, and uh, you you know once again pull the boats almost. Uh, in this, uh, in, uh, something that's not even quite liquid, um, or is maybe just viscous, um, uh, and make it back to the shore, and, uh, you make it back into the, what is the verdant fall forests of, uh, of the northern evening lands. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay, so you already know where you're going, so that's handy. Uh, you have 11 people with you. Uh, oh, actually, do you allow Eldrin to follow you? I don't see why not. She did insist, and I'd rather not. I'm not feeling very inquisitive today. All right. I'm sure she's capable. I assume she's equipped and stuff. She's not walking around in a dress or something. Um, she has, um, I don't know what to call them, but um, breeches and uh, and a, um, what do you call a, a tunic or, a, you know, and, and a cloak. And she's obviously outfitted. She has a, a longbow and a quiver of arrows and uh, a backpack. Okay. Oh, and I'm, I'm going to... Go should ahead. We inquire, should we inquire about what's... I mean, Helmer helped the healer a little bit, right? But she was still looking pretty rough, wasn't she? Or did I misremember? Hey, she got six hit points back. So I don't know what she had to start with, but... Hmm. Okay. Um, uh, 
feel free to question her if you'd like. Uh, I, I'm a little curious, but not enough that I would try to stop her from coming. No, no. I don't, I don't want to delay our trip too much, but uh, on the road, I might ask his, you know, about her miraculous recovery, see if uh, there's any more to it. Elmer's sweating a bit. <laughs> yeah, as you travel, uh, she says in common, uh, I am puzzled by it as well. I, I don't understand. Uh, shortly after you visited, all of a sudden I started to get better. Um, I still carry some wounds and some aches, but nothing like what I, what I had, I had experienced. I, it, it was like a miracle. I have no explanation. What happens? Cause... Yeah. Must be a miracle. Elmer does the claw. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you have a bunch of rangers, so you can't get lost. Uh, so, here is the one check we do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cool. Head tilt, hmm, with, with means good, right? <laughs> is that better or worse than, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we need a tear of... <laughs> Yeah. Well, we have to wait to see whether it's really bad. Put <laughs> yeah. these down here somewhere. I know I wrote these down. Let me look. At... <sighs> Weird. I don't know. I think I already had this, but I'll check. Okay. Let's see if it's in the list. No, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, Alara, you can roll a d6 to see if you notice something. On this, you have to get a one. Oof, no. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I'm staring in the other direction. You, um, I think you have that, like, Jedi kind of spider sense thing where, like, you, you know something is... Something... There's something familiar that you sense somewhere nearby. Um, yeah, fairly nearby, um, but you you can't place it. It's something that it's it's like an old and lost feeling, a scent on the wind, something that threads into a memory you cannot access from a time, you know, that for you could have been centuries ago at this point. And, um, that's all that happens. Um, and, uh, let's see. Um, and you make it back to the mound. Let's see here. I think this was the mound. But it's daytime. Yeah. So, uh, you find this mound, um, and uh, from kind of like a nearby ridge uh, that has a bit of a cliff face to it, you saw a, uh, a, sh a sharp relief, a drop-off, and in the drop-off, there was a torch. Now, you're there again today. Uh, assume you, I assume you're trying to go back to the same place. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, Actually, you see four of those uh, hulking humanoid type figures. What do you do? 
Where are they in relation to us? Um, I would use this as a visual representation because I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good. Whoops, that's a, a light. I don't need that. There we go. Give me just a second. So if you man imagine that, that like uh, there's this uh, this hillside. And you're kind of actually this would be better this this hillside over here and there was this place with um uh with a uh, uh, sconce is what you saw last night um and you're kind of like on an opposite ridge line that goes into a sharp relief like a like a cliff almost okay. um, and nice Okay. So I'll put so there are... one of you over here just so you can kind of get a sense of what's... Oh, we got little people over there. You, that, that's a fun representation of what's going on. Okay. So there... I feel like sneaking up around them would be a good idea. If we're on an, a ridge to the opposite of them... Are these ridges uh, filled with trees, or, or are they sort of grassy and somewhat bare? It is very forested. Okay, so perhaps our um, Alara and our ranger friends can lead us through the trees uh, around the top of this ridge then, and we come at them from behind and from uphill. Okay, to achieve surprise. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, I think the D6 skill check is hard enough. Now, obviously, you need to cache your horses. Um, yeah, well, this is on the, you know, behind this ridge is probably as good a place as any. Do you leave someone with them or do you just, uh, do you leave them kind of build a pony to, to eat who's the grass? Wi who's willing to... We can leave... Uh couple of nights behind I think uh, Lobo and Daniel I think would be good to uh, leave behind um, Lobo uh, he, he actually agrees and he smiles congenially um, and uh, he's eager to just stay behind and watch the horses he doesn't have a problem with that and who's the other person uh, Daniel. Okay. I have and it then, written down here. Nicest man in the world. <laughs> Daniel. Uh, yeah, Daniel is also, he's a really, uh, a really nice, um, nice guy. Um, he, uh, he says something like, uh, you know, uh, you know what it says. There's a proverb about that. If you don't, if one does not watch their horses, then one does not have horses. And there is no such proverb about that. That does not exist. There is now. There is mm -hmm. now. But he agrees to watch the horses. Okay. Alara, the Elven Ranger. If you can do a 2 and 6 on a d6, you'll be able to... Um, um, oof. Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to do a standard check then. That would have been, um, cause I already rolled to see if they notice you. So now we're going to, um, roll another D six for surprise. We're going to do a regular combat one cause they're going to notice you. You got a three. Good. Okay. And, um, I'm going to move you all over. suppose my 25% hide in shadows or move silently helps or 35% move silently um if you were the one doing it yeah but since we're already trying to lead the whole group in I think it's too late now because they do in fact notice you um and let's see what do they do um uh, Edward, roll a d6 for initiative. If anyone is casting any spells, 
Hey, hey. All right, house wins. What's the plan for the group in this situation? You try to sneak, and uh, what happens is, is you're coming across. Um, probably a classic situation where one of the hobbits just comes tumbling out like a like a yummy orc snack. And just like, um, it's like, oh, there's a hobbit. And now you, they, they know that there are people here. Um, yeah. Okay. Well then, entangle. You're going to cast entangle? Entangle. Okay. All right. That will go at the end of the round before melee attacks. Any other spells? No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, in that case, you all are able to... Well, what's the plan for the group? For the group? Um, Do those well, the... of us with bows want to uh, launch yeah, a mullet? Isn't... Yeah, the plan is missiles and then charge. I have this fancy new goblin sling that seems magical. I think it does a D6 or something. I think crazy yeah. sling. So. I think it's a sling, but it does a D6, which is handy because you can just yeah. pick up rocks. Oh, yeah. But it only does short range. Um, which also you can move up and achieve. Okay. All right. Cool. So the plan is to try to kill them, basically. Uh, yes. Dispatch them quickly. All right. Um, in that case, uh, anybody moving, uh, and then after your movement, uh, you can if you're doing a melee or a missile attack, you can go ahead and roll for that now. Uh, the knights charge in to just try to. Well, they have they have. Uh, what do they have? They have bows. They can fire those. Ouch! Remember, Daniel's not here. Yeah, sorry about that. Or Lobo. No worries. Where's Lobo? Uh, Lobo. Lobo the Bard looks like uh, even Tyler. <laughs> I don't see him in the bunch. He's behind me, or beside me. I'm guessing the other two elves oh. would also use their bows. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Um, how did the, is that, does that move all those tokens? It did, but now it's, uh, now it's one at a time. Good. All right, here we go. Roll uh, and uh, roll. 17 two. hits. Yay! And Yo! That's a 12 plus nothing. Okay, so, uh, and the, um... You're trying to hit armor class 15. So let's see, one of them hits for three. And um, uh, Steve, do you want to like play all the, the knights or do you want me to do that? It's whatever's more fun for you. Oh, I'll play the knights. Very well. Uh, you should be able to just cl double click on them. I don't know if it, if it doesn't give you access, then I'll do it for now and I'll change it later. You should just be yeah, able to maybe. double click on their their token and then, you know, I, I put it oh, all look in there. Look at that! Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all in the VTT. Come on. I will do the hobbits. Oh, they don't have ranged weapons. Well, then he's going to be brave. Oof. This Hobbit we need to get those hobbits some slings. Yeah. And not remember the song? Come on. Seriously. <laughs> all right. Those are all the NPCs having fired weapons. Uh, does everybody else have? Has everybody else fired a weapon or attacked? Spell time for me, Ray. The next one, yeah, actually, because it's side initiative, so yeah, now you can cast spells. All, right, oh, all, all okay. plants present in a 20 foot radius area within range bend and twist, entangling creatures inside the area. Each creature may save versus spells. Very well. Ow. 
pass, um, fail. Fail. Pass. Or fail. All right. Okay, so only so, one of them passes. Okay, so the other three are entangled and cannot move for one turn, so ten minutes. All right. Um, I think this is pretty horrifying for them. I'm going to do a morale check. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it might be horrifying for all the onlookers, too. They fail, and uh, the other one tries to get his companions out as the knights surround him and uh, just drops his weapon, and you just hear a bunch of grunting and, and wild looks of terror as you uh, as you surround these people. Oh. Prisoners, huh? You can see, by the way, um, that where these people were standing on this hillside after you've tried to kind of come down on them, that there is some kind of entrance to some some thing, you know, the mine, presumably. Uh, it looks about 80 feet up from this gorge down below. And um, it's um, got a 50-foot flat rock outcropping. And then the entrance itself is 10 feet wide and 15 feet high and hewn from the stone. Um, Tharnland looks at it and he says, that is dwarven work. A good a good sign, surely. So, what do you do now? What are these creatures? Who, who do you say that to? I suppose Thornland. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, let's see here. You wouldn't know what this is, uh, but uh, they are these uh, bestial, hunched, partially like uh, a, a combination of, of beast and pig and, and different features. They're all um, muscular and despite being hunched are still massive. Um, they, um, uh, I think Tharnland would know. He says, these are orcs. They should be killed right, r right away. I don't disagree with that. They take over okay. our minds. There's always something else behind an orc. They come up out of the battles of the underworld. That means right. there's something else in there. Does anyone speak their language? Speak our language? Are you guys speak or anything? You guys talk? Do they speak goblin or orcish? Uh, I think orcish is a language. I think that is the language. Let's see here. Languages 24. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. <laughs> sometimes orcish. they just speak goblin. Orcish. Not I. All right. So is it uh, to? I mean, are 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 they? <laughs> since, right, you know, are they? Is there a bounty on these creatures? Who who do you say that to? I mean, so Tharnland's the only local. I mean, I don't know if the Lara would. Oh, be. you say that to Tharnland. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, <clears throat> they just. Um... They rise up out of the ground, um, and they take over our old delves. Sometimes they terrorize the uh, villages, and then at this, actually, um, um, Eldrin, the, the, the elf, she says, uh, she says, these were the beasts that attacked the village that I tried to fight off. These and larger ones as well. And uh, Let's not waste any more time. We'll just Helmer, uh, yeah, Helmer frowns and then nods to the uh, to the knights, and we do our uh, sticking with the pointy end. All right. Um, I can't remember. I don't think it's come up. 
but um, that would be point of chaos, which you can take if you kill a uh, helpless prisoner. Um, but you can take it if you wish. Since there is a bit of a problem here, like what are you going to do with them? I have no problem with that at all. Is everybody else in my okay? mind, we're, in my mind, we're doing the right thing. Orcs is evil. Yeah, how many points of law have I accrued? <laughs> <laughs> there <laughs> are there are no points of law. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> there are only degrees of guilt, as they say in Warhammer. <laughs> um, okay, you uh, you do that. You you know mercifully just end their lives quickly and quietly. Uh, the knights do at Helmer's command. Helmer does too. He doesn't uh, make everybody get their hands dirty. And he does too. I don't know. I mean, Edward. Edward. You know, I don't know how many that you need, and you probably don't need more than a couple, but. Um, anyway, preferably all at the same time. There's three of us. Yeah. We want that one poor guy to watch. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, and you see uh, in this ten foot wide, fifteen foot tall entrance cut from the stone, a corridor that continues on uh, for um, for at least dozens of feet into the darkness. That's what you see. Okay. Let's get some torches and lanterns lit. All right. I will light a lantern and uh, draw my sword. Okay, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yeah, I'm going to have uh, you, uh, Ayanna hold the torch. Um, she's impulsive. She's the impulsive one, and I'd rather have her uh, doing something important, <laughs> charging and get us in trouble. <laughs> that way we've got uh, off the light, and then we can go up front and have the light behind us and ready to hack and flash. All right, now let me just ask this up front. Who's mapping? Oh, I'd be willing to give yeah. it a go, unless someone else wants to. I think you volunteered first. <laughs> we should not. Uh, we should not let that slide. <laughs> This is unacceptable behavior. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, okay, got to kind of flip back and forth a little bit. You, um, yeah. So the first thing you see um, is um, this. Uh, this goes on for. Uh, several uh, dozen feet into the darkness, you think you see far toward the end of your... Is it a torchlight or a lantern light? I've got a lantern. Okay. Yeah, we've got a lantern and one torch. Okay. Uh, you see... Oh, I forgot to ask. Did, did, sorry. Do the orcs have anything on them at all? or? Okay. Good question. Ooh. Um, and also, uh, why does it look like we'd be up against as far as weaponry? Yeah, those are good questions. You look at the uh, the orcs, and they do have weapons. In fact, ring mail armor and shields, axes, crossbows even. Uh, these are armed creatures. Uh, organized well and set up in the right way with an ambush. If you were caught by surprise, this could be very lethal. And uh, you also find uh, the following. Let me make sure I have this right. 300 gold. Uh oh. Would it be a bad idea to give a hobbit a crossbow? I don't see a downside to that. A hobbit can use a crossbow, can't they? Where's my player book again? Gosh. 
Yeah. I got it. Oh, here hold it is. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You, uh, you also find five gold pieces among the orcs. It's a, if a crossbow is appropriate to their size, they can use it. I think that's the rule. It's a light crossbow. It's a light so, yeah. Um, hey. Let me, uh, so you find one operable crossbow and a clutch of bolts. Uh, who do you give it to? Knob, probably, since he's not armored. Is that, or, yeah, Knob Boulder Hill, probably. Uh, yep. Let's see, equipment, weapons, crossbow. And bam, now he has a crossbow. And I will also give him some equipment, ammunition, crossbow bolts. Bam, now he's got him. And he's got 20 crossbow bolts. All right. So, um, yeah, this long, dark corridor. You think at the edge of the lantern light, you think you see um, an alcove. Um, and... Uh, I also think, uh, let's see, Alara, you can roll a d6 again. It's fine. Yeah. You don't, you don't notice anything else. Okay, so there are no passages. Uh, on this long hallway, from what you can see, um, uh, did, what, well, what do you, you look along the hallway to see, you know, there are no apparent passages leading left or right. Uh, okay. This goes at, to the edge of your lantern light. The lantern light 60 feet long, uh, and it goes beyond that, the, just, this, just this corridor. Okay. Let's advance forward. All right. You do that. Um, let's see here. 16. What's our marching order? I believe you established that last time. I have it here uh, that it's like um, Helmer, Tharnlin, uh, Knights, Hobbits, uh, Ben with Adoralon, and then uh, kind of some lieutenants, and then Edward and Alara in the back. That's what I have. And then you'll okay. fan out the knights if you f need to form a front from that. Okay. Okay. So, um, all right, uh, you travel, let's see here, 60, also need to know the, uh, we have people in heavy armor, so you slowly make your way down into the dark. And uh, after, after some time, you can tell uh, that uh, the corridor keeps going on. This corridor is only still like 10 feet wide, 15 feet tall. Only a couple of you can go abreast at a time as you're going. Uh, so you're all in kind of like this line, you know, and, and you're, uh, you're traveling. Uh, you get to where you think you can see a, um, an alcove. Uh, way on the edge, and I should have, I got this wrong before, just now, after like traveling for 10 minutes, you think you see maybe an alcove way off in the distance, you, you, but you got to kind of like squint, maybe it is. And then you see a, um, you see a, um, on a peg hung on the wall as you pass by, an alarm horn. It's a horn for them to uh, to grab and set off an alarm with. I see. And uh, is there anything else interesting about that peg? Nope. It looks like it's just been crudely hammered into the wall uh, with some simple, um, you know, uh, what's it called? Rope made from... Um, I'm trying to think, uh, you know, twine or whatever. Yeah, hemp. Not even. Yeah, hemp rope. Um, 
just crude rope that is tied to this this horn. So it looks like it's been improvised and hammered in there. Okay. I'm going to take the horn. Who, who takes the horn? I'm taking the horn. Oh, okay. Edward takes the horn. All right. How do the feelings look? Do they look pretty sturdy and stable? You look up um, and you can see... Let me see if... Uh, Um, yeah, th- it feels claustrophobic. It's 10 feet, and then 15 feet is not a lot. Especially when you're going deeper and deeper and deeper into the earth. Um, now, the stone looks eternal. It looks like th- it's clear that it's ancient. Uh, but it- it's also clearly made by dwarves. And, um, um is not even defaced like most of the stones are still intact and and the the still has not branched no just keeps going on into the dark great makes things easy on we go all right Suddenly, deep down in the dark, you hear a um, you hear footfalls and the rustling of uh, of chain and ring um, as something uh, ahead of you, somewhere in the dark, is is rushing forward from the darkness to meet you. Uh, everyone needs to knock an arrow and prepare themselves. Right. Um, I am going to. As soon as we see anyone, I'm going to blow that horn. Can those of us with Infravision see beyond the torchlight? Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I'm not going to blow the horn. Never mind. Um, that's right. I think you have 60 feet of Infravision. Are you uh, sure you're not thinking of the bullseye I, lamp with the 60-foot uh, and, radius? And I, and I apologize because I never sent you the book. But I just want to point out how the rules are just not the most important part of the game. Because here we are playing the game and you played for a month. And I never see the book. Uh, it's 60 <laughs> feet of infravision for demi-humans. Uh, so yeah, you can see, like you see in literal predator vision. Like this is what you see. Um, actually, I'll show you like what it looks like to you. Um, let's see here. Remember to make uh, creepy clicking noises every once in a while. <laughs> this is what it looks like to uh, Alara. Except that, like, otherwise it's, like, perfectly lit, you know. But, <laughs> but you only see, like, shapes. But this is what Alara sees. Like, you see, like, predator vision the whole time. That's pretty rad, actually. <laughs> Everyone else is trying to make out details just from, like, the things that the light falls on. But you see everything... You just don't see the details of it. Well, and Tharnland and Homer see too, don't they? Or yeah, and at this point, actually, well, 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 let's let's def- let's talk in uh, uh, in um, in in demi human vision for a second because you you do see something. I think you see um, uh, you, Alara, and um, uh, Tharnland, the hobbits. Uh, you all see um, shapes. Uh, and humanoid shapes. Now, uh, it something becomes very clear very soon, um, and maybe the dwarves were used to this in fighting orcs, but you can only fit two abreast. So, ten people are not like, you know, there's just two, and then whatever's coming, you know. So, 
uh, and eventually it's clear that there are more of those things uh, coming. Let's see here. Can the knights uh, use their lances from behind as spears? Yeah, let me look at the uh, order of battle. I'm going to clear this in for a vision thing just so everybody can kind of see better. Okay. Yeah, out of curiosity, would the walls be similar to right. the picture where there's a little, is it all flat and smooth or are the little spots to duck behind there's, for an archer? There's little tiny niches, but not enough to provide cover from anything. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, Elver and Tharlin, no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, uh, Tharnland looks over at uh, at Helmer as this this group rushes in, and looks, and he holds his axe, and he's like, "This, this is what my people were born for." Elver grins and kind of didn't didn't expect like to die next to a you know a, a knight, but uh, I guess it'll do. And, uh, ah, it's something. And we're not uh, dead yet. Let's see. I got a five. Helmer, roll a d6 since you're up front. Here it comes. And yes, you have two knights that have lances, so they can attack from yes. the second rank. Okay, the orcs That's are able to four. go first, unfortunately. But the good news is that uh, the orcs do not have a. I'm checking. They do not have a a, a, a two-handed or a reach weapon. They don't have spears, so that's good news. Um, all right, so but they're able to attack first. This one's going to attack Tharnlin. Fourteen misses, but I think he has. Let's see. Missiles go for I. Is there a procedure, or is it different? Um, I don't think you can fire a missile. Like, you're in a cramped space with just a row of people in front of you. There's no way that you could be able to do that. There's there's no space whatsoever. You're just like in a Congo line, just like people in front of you. Right. Weren't the dwarves and the hobbits up forward? Like, uh, this, is the, be... this is the order of March. No, now, no. to clarify from kind of a top-down perspective... This is the hall, like right next to you. Like you're in a cramped mm -hmm. hall, you know, so. We're, uh, Lobo and, and Daniel aren't here, so we've got a row of... Uh, what uh, I'm wondering is if we have the people up front that are tall. Yeah, the, the order of march is fine, is fine. Like stand against the wall with their back flush to the wall. Would that give people in the back room to fire a missile down the center? You know what? I'll say you can do that, but there's a chance you'll hit one of your friends. Oh. <laughs> well, just, uh, yeah. My luck, time. I'd roll in that one. <laughs> yeah. Never expected to die next to a net. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Tharnland lived, but he doesn't know math anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Both of the orcs missed, so that's good news. Uh, hey. So now you can you can use both of your knights because they can attack from the second rank. Uh, they have to hit armor class 15, 13, sorry. Here it comes. Oh, nice. Nice. And then... Hey. Nice. Two and four. And one of the works yeah. goes down. Awesome. And I'm still trying to figure out the sword for... Oh. Plus three. No, that's not right. All right. Yeah, my anyway. And did I already attack with Tharnland? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, Tharnland gets a shot. And he misses. Okay. All right. 
you guys are automatically able to attack the next round. Hey. Because I just rolled a one. Miss. Whiffing. Missing. Wait, no, that hits. 15 hits, yeah. And that kills the next one. They, uh... 14 hits too, doesn't it? Uh, 14, yeah, that's right. Oh. I'm sorry, 14 does hit. And that kills, uh... Another one if you're attacking in the second rank. And they just step over the dead bodies and keep marching forward. Ugh. Gruesome business. Tharnland yells back as he's just hacking these orcs down and the orcs are growling in the dark and you're just in this line and you, you can still see blood flying way up ahead in the lantern light. Tharnland yells back. He's like, my people have done this for generations. Oh, Edward, Edward contemplates that. Uh... All right, roll a d6, uh, Helmer. Keep keep chucking the attacks. Okay, Ooh. they go first, unfortunately. Man, they're rolling terrible, which you love to see, right? Okay, here comes the lance. Here comes the lance. Nice. Nice. And here comes a Helmer. Oh, come on, Helmer. Get on it. Figure it out. Okay. The the piles of orc dead start to pile up. I'm gonna do a morale check. They fail. They can't be allowed to escape. They can't be allowed to escape. They uh they turn they to try to flee. You can send the bow send the bowmen up front if if you don't kill them on these. Uh... He kills another one. Uh, All right, let's. Elmer. That one misses. Oh. Womp womp. Okay. Um, so they're trying to flee? Yeah, they're trying to flee. Um, initiative. They have um, an advantage to fleeing, uh, but basically you're saying that you're going to move both. I'm saying on the next initiative, all melee you, people move back and bow people just start shooting. I'll say that you, can have, you can have four do that. Because basically you can okay. do like a high-low thing. Um, so yeah, you can pick your four bowmen and go ahead and make the attack. Uh, well, who are the four best? I, I... I can bow and that sling. The bow's going to have a better range, so I can draw a bow and... Uh... Okay, plus so, one um, Ooh, I definitely don't have a plus one. So, uh, Ben and Alara and uh, surely Alara, one of your ranger. Do we have any rangers with us? What about that other elf? Let's let's get her up front. And um, Adar Allen is with us, and then I don't remember her name. I didn't write her down yet. And then so then the so then yeah, Ben and three elves. Very well. I also see that the uh, the knights have short bows. Uh... Okay. And same question, uh, Birdie. Do you want to command the elves as a player? Is that fun for you, or would you rather me do it? Sure. It's totally up to you. For me as a player, I don't like doing it. I I kind of am like, no, I have my character, and I want to do my character. So it's whatever's fun. Would I have so to click you... on them to roll? Yeah, you can double do click I... on them, uh, and it'll give you their their weapons and options. Okay. And Do I, I think get I, backstab with a bow if they're fleeing? Uh, so, yeah, okay. sure. I, I give you an ah, extra burn no. away. Because uh, Eldrin will have your... I'm going to duplicate your stats. 
So you can just use two of you and then add Doral on. You should be able to just double click on him. I'm going to guess that Ben dispatched one if that counted as a backstab. Yep. That would be 10 damage if I get the backstabs. And then I can't find the other elf girl. They're in the back. Sorry, because of the light. Let me see if I can move the light down. There you go. I found myself and I found it. She's back here. Is she back here? Okay. I like to think Ben gets him right in the back of the head with an arrow. <laughs> they both look like me. Or did you do two of me? I just, yeah, I just did two of you for now because I don't have her token okay. ready, so. Oof. Yeah, ouch. Oh. All right, one more. The first one was an 18, so that hits. So you can roll a, what is it, a d6? <laughs> nice. All right. Now, unfortunately, um, it does not kill them all. Some of them make it. And just by the sheer math, what happens is uh, when smaller groups are running from larger groups, they have an inordinate advantage in fleeing. That's, that's the simple version of evasion. So... Um, yeah, they are able to make it out of here, especially in this tight space. Uh, you have piles of orc dead, uh, however. I'm going to move okay. you. Um, and then describe what happens after that. Um, Is there piles of orc loot? Yeah, let's see what you got there. Uh, you, if you search the dead, well, first of all, let me describe what what's going on after this, because it's going to matter, I think. You're um, pretty soon. Basically, you hear a boom, and then roaring noises off in the distance, as uh, dozens upon dozens of of these beasts organize to uh, to fight. That's what you hear. Uh, also. Ooh. You see uh, that you can clearly see now just ahead of you that there is a circular antechamber just at the edge of your light. Um, you're not there yet, but you can see that there's an antechamber now. You're certain of it. Anyways, the uh, the bodies. You said you checked the bodies. Um, I don't know. Do, well, before we do that, do we want to... Uh... To stay, or are we gonna? What are y'all's feelings on the it, matter? It will take a round to search the bodies. When you say a round, you mean a minute? A round is a, a round. A turn is a turn is ten minutes. A round is a minute. I'm sorry, a turn. I I don't know what's wrong with me that I literally, <laughs> for a year straight, have just kept saying that. I don't know why. Uh, right now, right now, it's life or death. So if it's going to take us ten minutes to search these guys, that's probably not worth it. Uh, or I don't mean I don't know five gold pieces on the last batch. That in orcs like goblins probably not known for carrying quality but, items. But what are y'all's feelings on the matter of stay or go? Uh, Eldrin said there were bigger ones attacking the towns. Eldrin, um, she tells you, she says, yes, yeah. there, uh, there are other strange creatures that attack the town. And then um, a couple of massive ones. Okay, maybe we get out of here and get back to the horses and prepare for them to come to come out. Okay. Think they're going to be coming to town after we take out some of them? Could be. I'm okay with fleeing. I mean, I, I'm not suggesting fleeing entirely, but definitely get out of these dark tunnels and get back to the horses. All right. Very well. Helmer, <laughs> input. <laughs> I believe we should leave. Okay. <laughs> uh, tactical retreat and regroup at the rear. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, Alara. Do you think? Um, 
I kind of lean towards that, especially if they have other entrances, they could come and circle us from behind now that they know we're here. Well, we Figure didn't pass out. any, but that doesn't mean there aren't any, I guess. Yeah. Um, maybe figure out another yeah. approach. Try again. Yeah, later. so back to the horses. Very well. Um, you uh, you shuffle back your way out uh, into uh, from, from the darkness of this place and uh, make it back to the forest. And uh, to the horses. And after well, you do that, and you gather the horses, and you gather all your people, um, nothing happens, and you're not pursued. Not pursued? <laughs> they don't leave? You're not sure. But you don't see anybody come out of that uh, out of that that out, outcropping where that that hallway is. You don't see anybody come out of that. If you watch it. Alarming. Um Was that an illusion? Did we just get bamboozled by a magic horn or something cool like that? I mean, I'm not willing to risk it, but... <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> Back to the entrance and meaning, and listen, is there any sound of... Yeah. Of yeah, let's, 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 the... let's reapproach the entrance now. Like, everybody, I... including our horses and everybody. Like, from Brian? the front. From, from the front. And, and what keep, happens if you... Go oh, sorry, I keep... <laughs> keep, and keep... Keep bows drawn and ready, you know, but... Uh... uh yeah, let's 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 all support this listening effort here. Um, you listen for some time. This takes time, and uh, nothing happens. So we're at an adventure site. I'm going to be checking for some things. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah. It's, it's tough because it's like that would be a really clever trick, but this is also at OSR. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't you don't hear anything, actually. It's just a dark tunnel, the smell of death far off in the distance, smelled by the demi humans. Yeah. So let me roll a. I don't know anything. A lore check, okay. Yeah. In any case, um, maybe they're uncomfortable coming out in the daylight. But uh, I, I am minded to go in again. Can anyone convince me otherwise? I'm game for it. You make it. How much daylight is left? By the way, uh, yeah. I, I assume that you left in the morning, like you said you wanted to leave first mm -hmm. thing. Uh, so uh, it's been about. Um, let's see. So it is about noon right now. And these raids, Thornlin, do they usually come at night? I haven't been here in a long time. Eldrin, however, answers. She says, Yes, they attacked at night. What were the numbers? More than a dozen. That raided the uh, the village of Redenford. Um, I feel like we either do this or we go back and pay interest to hear her talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we we need to we need to we need to press on. Die brave or die broke. Yeah. <laughs> We're already broke. Yep. <laughs> I mean live broke, sorry. <laughs> Sad to say the Orcs company seems preferential right now. 
And now, and now, now we will take a turn. I think to search those bodies. Might as well. If they're still yeah. there. Very well. Yeah. You all the these creepy. Rings. Cache the horses again and uh, return back into the long, yeah. dark hall. It'd be really <laughs> creepy. There's just this pool of blood and strips pulled them back. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I think so. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I think if we search the, search the bodies, it'd be good to have some search and some stay on guard. Oh, well, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's ten of us, so we, we can we can split half and half to do that. Are there ten of you? Do you do you don't you don't leave anybody with or the horses? Eight. Sorry, eight. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just checking. Okay. Um, all right. So you travel along down this. It takes a, takes a while. Um, so what, you get back to where you were. with the people with the horses? Huh? Say again? Oh. But do we want to give the horn to the people with the horses just in case? Because Great idea. Yeah. Great idea. Okay. Yeah. We can start blowing down that if they get attacked or something, blow a horn down the, the tunnel. The problem so is, if back. it sounds like the other one, would we know the difference? Good point. <laughs> but then again, you could tell them to blow the like horns coming from behind us. I can do it. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if that one was uh, also magic and suddenly there's this orc army is on our way out? <laughs> Better <laughs> panic. Well, hey, <laughs> yes, yeah, blow on it three times. If uh, oh man, he's counting. Um. Okay, so you travel down this long corridor again, and other than the smell of death in this place, the and the the red the horrible smell just of these be these bestial people things uh on the floor you don't you don't hear anything or see anything um until you get back to the bodies so you take time to search the bodies is that right that is right okay all right so you start searching all the bodies and i have some good news you find uh, that these people have robbed the nearby villages. They lack their shinies. You find 92 gold pieces among them. Ooh. Um, they also have some weapons, uh, but and they're usable. Um, hand axes and light crossbows. You found about three operable light crossbows. And uh, hand axes and... Um, Otherwise, really crude short swords. And um, all the hobbits have a crossbow now. Okay, I'll give if uh, Squint's a crossbow as well. Squint yeah. needs two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The really cool thing about Foundry is I just opened up knobs, just like windows, like an operating system, and I just dragged the crossbow over from knob into Squint's, and it just it's there now. And all I have to That's do, awesome. all I have to do is click on it. Bam! There, Squint's fired a crossbow. That's pretty cool. I mean, this VTT stuff. Some of it's pretty cool. Okay, um, I don't get to do that when this is a shattered arcade anymore because it would be old school essentials. <laughs> um, um, beyond that, you can see that there's an alcove ahead. Uh, just. Um, um, you can't see what's in it because you're not there, but uh, but your light goes to to the edge yeah. of it. Let's advance. Okay. Um, here, uh, there are some places where it's clear that some of these orcs were squatting, um, uh, and then the 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 corridor continues on beyond your lantern light, beyond your infravision for the elves and the demi humans just on into the darkness. Uh, but, um, so I have to make a quick check. Uh, Birdie, have we you, gotten to the big room yet? Yeah, this is that alcove. It's not super big. It's, um, it's 60, it's pretty big, I guess. 60 feet by 60 feet circular chamber. Yeah, it's pretty okay. good. Are there, how many hallways are off of it? Uh, and then the hallway from here just continues on. In fact, Tharnland says as much. He says, this is just, this is just a welcoming on uh, 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 alcove. It's grand, but this is just a like a foyer and nothing else. 
Okay. There wouldn't be like any sort of secret entrance, any hidden things. Yeah, and I got some more details here. Um, yeah, let's, that... let's let's take a turn to search this room. All right. Well, let me describe it first, so you can see if okay. there's anything you want to poke at. That because you don't have to sacrifice any time to do that. Uh, it's a circular chamber. It's cut smoothly from the rock. It has a domed ceiling with an apex thirty feet tall. Um, there are eight sconces with torches all along the walls, four on each side, uh, that are lit, and a central bonfire. Uh, the walls of the chamber are decorated with intricate boss reliefs depicting scenes from dwarven legends. And this is kind of the, the awe that you hear from, the, the love and awe that you hear from Tharnland, you know, when he kind of motions to this, that this is merely a foyer to them. This is not even, you know, this is just the beginning. Um, then he sees, Tharnland does, uh, as he kind of goes back to the far end of the chamber where it's 60 feet on, uh, and you kind of move into the chamber a little bit on the wall where the, the where the corridor continues the these things have been defaced by the orcs and you can you can hear him uh, groan in hatred uh, there's a bunch of rough moldy maggoty blankets and and things probably things the orcs had stolen um, and a supply of wood sitting in a, a crude homemade box with uh, ten crudely fashioned tor unlit torches. That's what you see here. You see nothing else of interest. Okay. Anyone in need of extra torches? Let's stock up now. Homer will take one to replace the other one that was burned. Ooh. Okay, uh, I'm going to say we move on. All right. Um, Glancing down the section of hallway we haven't gone yet down yet, do we see anything, or does it just look like what we came through? It looks like what you came through. Uh, it looks like this is just like a this is just like you said, like a foyer. This is just like a just an, a, a beginning and entrance point. And then the, the corridor continues on. The corridor returns from this big, big to you all, uh, that are not so grandiose as dwarves, um, shrinks back down for the corridor to be just another, again, uh, 10 feet wide and 15 feet tall, going on endlessly, seemingly, into the dark. Tharnlin, he says... I don't know if you can tell, but we're going down. I would have expected as much. Shall we go on? And we go on. Can't turn back yet. Very well. Um... Uh, you, um, let's see how far this corridor, let me just make sure, yeah, okay. You um, you continue on into the dark. It takes nearly as long, tw almost twenty minutes uh, of time. You know, looking around you, trying to keep your bearings um, and keep a degree of discipline uh, so that you can be prepared for anything that could happen. And um, it's you're, it, since you first began your assault on the old this dwarven mithril mine. It's been almost two hours um, until finally you see a um, uh, another large antechamber. This one is twice as large as the one before. It's uh, probably um, 80 feet north to south and 80 feet east to west. Um, and so 
when you enter it, the dome is a little bit higher, even probably 40, 50 feet up. Uh, and your lantern light just hits the top of the dome. And it doesn't even extend all the way to the end of this large chamber. Um, <clears throat> and um, you see in here six large rough pallets uh, and a wooden table with high benches. Uh, a bonfire has been stamped out uh, as you it, towards the center of the Santa chamber as you enter. Uh, Lara, roll a d6. Lara, as you approach, you see uh, something moving among the massive, heavy, wide pillars of the place along the chamber. A, sh a shadow that seems to shift. I'm going to jump back and draw my bow. And yell out, there's something there. <laughs> oh, Guessing yeah. everyone saw the shadow, but if not. <laughs> I'm just wondering if ever anyone saw the label on that surprise roll. A little bit. <laughs> oh, my bad. I, I wanted yeah. to just look at it. Oh, well. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. So, so also did Alara say, you know, so like, uh, you know. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, what do you what do you do? Oh, um, shoot it. Okay, uh, you kill it with fire. Uh, all of a sudden, let's see here. <laughs> kill it with arrows. Um, let me see if I have something. Are we? In the, we're in the chamber now, right? So there should be plenty of room for the all the archers to get off some shots if they can. In the dark, I'm I'm going to cast my one other spell. I guess we should roll initiative, right? Yeah, I gotta set everything up here. Um, I will fan you guys out because that was the plan. So, like, you know, from here, you kind of like fan out to where you can be effective in a wide open area. People that have the can attack from the second rank, and then you know, probably you fan out so you can have ranged weapons, right? I mean, it makes sense. That's the idea. Yep. Okay, so effectively almost everyone can attack when you open up into an area when you enter it. Um, okay, the first thing is uh, declare spells and retreats and any stunts. What's the group doing? Are we? F well, you already said what the group's doing. You're firing arrows, you're attacking it. Any spells? Fairy fire. Fairy fire, very well. Um, okay, L remind me of that. Don't let me miss it. Um, okay. And then... Um, Edward, roll a d6 for initiative. Gotta beat a six. Three. They're able to attack first. They strike at Tharnlin right away. Tharnlin, who's a bit maybe foolhardy, striding into the chamber. Um, let's see, they have 3d8. So they have 22, five points of damage. And I think... That's it. Yeah. Now. Yeah, 12. That's right. Okay. Um, Tharnland takes five points of damage. Um, what do they hit him with? Yeah, they have a um, huge gnarled clubs that they... That, that Maybe the trunk of a tree that basically they've but jagged pieces uh, basically have created a maul. And uh, Tharnland gets knocked and slides across the ground, and then one tries to, like, slam one onto the ground onto Tharnland to crush him, and Tharnland rolls out of the way. Uh, it's your all's turn. I'll have Tharnland attack. Get, get up and attack. Yeah. Farland has no bonus. Uh, that's a good question. Because um, he's he's like a dwarf fighter or something, right? Yeah, he's Same got three d eight, so uh, he doesn't have enough of a bonus for it to matter. And you have to hit a ascending armor class fourteen. A good point. All right, so 
bow have missiles been fired already or are we just gonna you can just do all attacks because you kind of set yourself up to be able to do it because you got people who are gonna attack from the second rank first rank and missile fire okay i mean I, i'm not firing this round i just want to make sure our hobbits are doing the none business. of the elves hit anything <laughs> oh no uh why that's weird why do my mm -hmm. hobbits not have uh, crossbows? I just put a crossbow on them. I'll try it again. I don't know why. I have it right here, so it's not a big deal, but... Unless Adorellin's 12 hit something, but I don't know if it would. Uh, 12 does not hit. Yeah, no. I'm going for nat ones today. Okay, and then lastly, uh, I got one more Hobbit. All other attacks have happened, but no spells yet, right? And, oh, he missed. It almost landed on a 20. Okay. All right. Well, did anybody hit? No. Okay. No. Fairy fire. Is that... Uh... Well, <laughs> it might be useless, but I don't know. Uh... Uh, can, uh, so, so selected objects or creatures in range are outlined with a lambent green fire. Uh, oh, I don't even think I can use this on these guys. They're they're larger than regular humans, aren't they? Yeah, you don't have to sacrifice yeah. your attack if that's the case. You can still use your bow if you want. Okay. That hits. Yeah. Which one are you shooting? Oh, uh, well, I'm all over on the left, so I guess that guy on the left. All right. Um, and uh, daggone it, it's a longbow, so it's still a decent... I should have rolled that. I'm, I'm going to roll this, but not for attack, but for the damage. All right. So it's Dang. Four damage. All right. Um, oh, he's a pleasant fellow. <laughs> All right, roll a d6, uh, Edward. Got to be a six. Oh, Stop rolling sixes, dead gone. I know, and they're hitting too, which is not cash money. Yeah, he hit two for five points of damage. Starn one is Ooh. getting beat up. Uh, and that's the first one. Uh, the next one. Next one barely misses. So once again, Tarnland is just like knocked into Helmer, just sent flying and knocks into Helmer's plate mail. Uh, and then like both of you, like this other one tries to slam down between both of you and you all split out of the way. The floor splinters and stone chunks of stone go flying up into the air. Um, it's your all's turn. I'm going to advance with my sword. All right. 11 misses. I can't get the whole misses. hang of this goblin weapon, I guess. That actually should have been, uh, yeah, it hits anyway, but uh, it's a plus three to uh, chaotic creatures, right? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how much damage? So so it, it it should do one more point oh. of damage so nine total at a relic hit nice i think uh a... does he do a d8 for damage with a longbow it's a d6 d6 okay all right and let's see edward did nine points of damage just make sure yeah okay with the with sir brandon's sword you um you strike into this thing right under his his ribs and he, he howls Rah! you know up in 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 this in this chamber it echoes everywhere um four points of damage which one is a Doralon shooting at the this one right here uh yeah the one we're trying to take down okay let's see here four points of damage uh, he he strikes it in the neck 
it, it seems to be staggering. Um, any other, let's see, I don't think I rolled for the hobbits, so I will attack with the hobbits now. It's four, three damage. And uh, <clears throat> I have one more hobbit. And misses. Okay. And roll a d6. And then something else happens. You gotta beat a six? Uh, oh my gosh. You see on the far end of the chamber shapes, figures. Um, and uh, let's see. Suddenly, crossbow bolts begin whizzing past your heads. Whew. Awesome. That one hits Helmer for four points of damage. Your AC is only 15? Wait, I'm sorry. I was thinking of, uh, of Tharnlon. Yours is... You got plate mail, right? You're muted. Still mute. You're muted on Discord. There we go. Yeah. Full plate. Nice. Shield. Sweet. No bad problem. decks. <laughs> yeah. So, 15 misses. All right. All right. It's your all's turn. Start. Yeah, Fire. Helmer uh, tells... Um, Ayana and Anjali to uh, take out their short bows and focus on those orcs. Um, they look and they say, we can't see. We can't see. Oh, yeah. Dark. If All right, I, bugbears. Bugbears. If I cast it? shield, does that count as my attack? Yeah, it'll be your action. Um, if you're... Uh, casting a spell. Well, on the next round, I'm definitely casting Fairy Fair. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, um, are the crossbow bolts no, coming no, from not. behind the bugbears or from a different direction? Yeah, this is actually this massive open antechamber with right. kind of junk and some pillars. And you, from the, the other end of the antechamber in the dark, there are crossbow bolts that are like flying your way now. That's okay. Trying to decide if, if I swing around to try and get behind the bugbears, am I going to be going towards the crossbow bolts? If I can tell which way they're coming from. Yeah. Um, yeah, you would be. Uh, does that mean that okay. they're going to shoot they... you first? I don't know. I'm... Well, if they're coming from that direction, then I'm not going to go try and swing <laughs> around behind the bugbears. Adorella just gonna... did six damage to an orc. Nice. You actually see one fall from a higher place, like where you seem to have climbed up. He goes ah, and gurgles, and, and then falls from the dark, and you hear it thunk on the ground. The orc is Adderall and Jeez. fires in the dark and hits one on the other end of the chamber. And Jolly got a nat 20. Nat 20, nice. How much damage? And which... which uh, or two damage... To this guy. All right. Um, and then what was their armor class again? I rolled a uh, 14. 15 for Helmer. Okay, so Helmer hit for only five. Describe yeah, how Helmer it. kills this. All right. When uh, so there's swords and lances coming at him, and Helmer chops forward. He's a little tired for all this killing, but as he goes forward, he actually hits the uh, excuse me the front of its face. <laughs> And, and hits way harder than he anticipated. And uh, in horrible fashion, the face kind of goes bloop, and down it goes. Oof. Yeah. The, this huge hulking thing, just after that, it goes <laughs> slams into the ground nearby, and you step out of the way. Who else hit? Anybody? Um, also, uh, Ayana would be going after this bugbear. What did she got? 
Anna, what did you get? Where are you? Oh, she got a 16. 16. 16. For five. Five damage. For five damage, all right. This so she, she actually kills that one. You can describe how she kills it. All right, right through the uh, lance, right through the neck. Yeah, she, she jumps up, and bam! The lance comes out the other end. You actually hear the stuff crack out the back end of it. And then she pulls it back out, and then this thing just falls back over to the other side. And uh, you hear shuffling in the dark. Now what do you do? I'm casting shield. Because I didn't use my attack that turn. Have, so an eye, have an eye on the duration. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, remind I think it lasts two turns. Yeah, so that just means, I mean, because that you, if you're going to use it, I would say wait till we search this room, because I'd like to search this room. Or did we did we kill everything? Yes. Oh, oh okay. Fled, oh, we heard shuffling. Well, yeah, one of them ran away. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then I'll wait. Yeah, because it's, you know, it's... Uh, so were they attacking from above? You said there was an alcove where they were. They had some. They climbed bonus? up. They climbed up. He said. Yeah. You, okay. Oh. Well, then he must have. If he shuffled away from up, there must be another entrance. Then, if he. Do you all climb down? Right. You you are not very far into this antechamber. Do you go further in? I would like. I would like to take the time to search this room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, when you go further in, um, you can see that um, there are um, some pallets, uh, some boxes. Looks like they've been dragged in here. Um, and then uh, there is this, it is this huge uh, semicircular chamber. Um, you, what, you, what you see is kind of like this, this stonework like here, but this would be in the hallway. This is only 10 feet wide. Imagine that that's like 10 feet up, right? So one of the orcs managed to climb his way up to try to get a position of fire. But there's no, you don't see any other pathways or anything like that. Uh, and in fact, uh, you uh, not up, but you do see that there are two stone pathways on the northwest side and the southwest side of this circular chamber that's about 80 feet by 80 feet. For reference, uh, what direction was the pathway we just came out of? Um, uh, east. East. So you said Helmer's northwest going, and sorry. southwest. Yeah. Uh, Do those gonna halls get... seem as wide as the one we just came out of? They look almost identical to the one you came in from. Okay. All right. What were you saying, Helmer? Oh, he's going to give Angeli his um, lantern. We got more light. Yeah, and, I, and, and yeah, so yeah, I would like to take the turn to search the room. Okay, everybody can roll a d6. And uh, I'll roll for the, the hobbits and the dwarf. Well, there you go. The dwarf, of course. Uh, first of all, in the boxes, you find um, that there are things that have been stolen, uh, valuables, worth at least 36 gold pieces. Is somebody do it? Well, you're Steve, you're the treasure, I, right? I, yeah, I've been, I'm keeping track of the treasure for, for the moment because I started with four gold. So I figure what I've got in my what I've got in my accounting will be a, a pretty good account of what we get in here. Okay, and you got the ninety gold after that, right? Ninety-two. Ninety-two. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and what did you say? It was it was articles worth thirty-six gold. Yeah. So they probably need to be stole uh, sold. You know, things that um, shiny things. Um, Kitchenware that has gold and brass and silverware and things like that. Um, the other things in the pallets are, are rotten. Um, let's see. You also see uh, these uh, these beasts. They they actually they didn't use them, but they had as well massive gnarly 
siege sized like that you would use for like a, a defensive uh, I don't know what they're called but a, a, a pointy stick <laughs> that you would put on a defensive wall uh, and it looked like they would have used those as spears <clears throat> and then each of them also have um, a total of 25 gold pieces among them from all the little jangly bags of things taken from the humans that they'd stolen from. Okay. All right. On we go. Um, you're we're going to go... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Was there any sense at which, which direction that one orc went? I would I would have guessed the north the the south, the sorry northwest passage. Um, that's a good question. Um, I think that maybe the elves can roll a d6, and all three of your elves can roll a d6 to try to to sense this. You got to get a a one in here though. Oh, I was supposed to roll d6. Sorry. And that was her, and then where did he? I'll go? say a one and a two because you're elven rangers, but then you can see in the dark. I lost stuff. him. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Sorry. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you which passage he ran down. He ran down the southwest passage. Um. Two hours and 20 minutes of dungeon time have passed, and your second torch has gone out. Do we want to pursue him, or do we want to go the other way? Um. I say... We pursue him. Or go down the passage he went down. All right. Um, Alara, roll a d6. Oops, sorry. I rolled that with him, but... Um, Alara, you see that there are figures on the opposite side of the room uh, gathering about to fire from the, uh, the other corridor as you try to... as you start to move out. From the northwest, or from the one we just came down? Uh oh. Hold on, I'm having trouble. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> so, you said you were going to follow this guy, right? The direction he went. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you start heading to the southwest, and as you do that, the the uh, in the northwest there is a uh, you see figures. Look out! An ambush! Okay. Alright, you're not surprised. Um, they will attempt to fire, though. Um, Edward, you can roll a d6. Mm. They are able to fire first. see one two is that six of them I think let's see one two three four five I got one more oops and then thirteen. okay let's see here so I'm gonna go right to left um, from the top um, Alara does a 16 hit uh, let's see Am I looking at AC there or hit points? Uh, AAC, so it's a 12 for you. I have a 14 there, but yeah, 16 would hit. 
Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. You take five points of damage. Ouch. Um, let's see. And then... You still have shield on? Oh, yeah. What about shield? Oh, I was going to do shield when we ran into more enemies. Am I able to use that or no? No. Yeah. Because I thought I'd have to wait till our turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the next one up would be Ben. This is a 16 hit. Um, and I'm sorry, actually, I have it wrong here. Alara, you take three points of damage if a 16 hits. Ben, you take five points of damage. Ouch. And then Knob is a 12, so he takes two points of damage. As all of a sudden, crossbow bolts start flying from the dark again. And it's your all's turn. Okay, for movement, uh, Helmer and the knights are going to move up until the uh, light well, we're just going to head straight into melee and the light from the lantern should uh, help okay um, yeah okay so you guys yep. like reform the line I'm going to join y'all hold the line bow, 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 bow. all right Because they can attack from the second rank, so I just assume. Uh, actually, yeah. I don't think you can move that far. Come to think of it. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Heavy armor uh, without treasure. <laughs> I'll say you're giving treasure to lighter people. Um, I've got 20 feet. Oh. So you guys probably make it about a third of the way. That you reform that line. Okay. Well then, okay. Now I don't know about Edward, um, you know, but the the knights in heavy armor they can do. That, that's how far they can go. So how yeah, far yeah. is it to the Hopefully. orcs? Yeah, so it's uh, they're on the opposite side of the chamber. So let's see, it is thirty, sixty, nine, eighty feet. Oof. Well, keep shooting. So I definitely want to duck for cover behind a knight or something after taking that arrow. Uh, but, let's see. If I can get a range of the a short bow, so if I can kind of take a shot and duck behind somebody to get... So hopefully I, I don't could get cast another shield arrow. for you to, to protect you and the hobbits. And the other squishy people. I feel like I need to get a shot off for sure, though. I don't want to. Because I think you guys can shoot from behind, even with shield up. Okay, so you're going to cast shield on Ben? Well, I can only use it on myself, so I'd have to put myself in front of him and the hobbits. Oh, right. Cast shield. Mm. Um, but this way it would give him a safe place to hide, and he could, like, duck out and shoot and then duck back. Okay. You do kind of have like a bit of a phalanx here of, of people. Um, yeah. The, but that being said, you'll have to, you can't move, fire, and move. So you have right. to move and then fire. So you won't be able to fire your bow. Would the longbows hit from here for the other two elves? Oh, yeah. Wait, so I couldn't shoot and then run behind them? How far away? That's, I guess, if I got to get a well, shot and then run behind actually, them. Would uh, Ben need to run? Or could, since I'm casting shield, can move? I just run in front of him with shield? Uh, actually, I messed up. What is your all's armor class? Mine's only 13, so 14. it's hitting me. 13, would have that would have hit. And then what, yours is 14? Yeah. Mine. Okay. Actually, uh, that would not have hit you, Alara. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, you will have to move up if you want to be able to try to hit them. Or I'll say that for, if you f shoot from here, you can do it um, at a penalty, which I'll just set at mm -hmm. minus two. Um, or you can get behind them and you will not get shot uh, in the sense that they'll get shot first. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm aiming for. Is Ben for. <laughs> protected or... 
I guess that would be the big thing is that Basically, protected from getting hit. As long again. as I'm getting behind the people in heavier armor, I'm okay. If I can get a shot before I do that, great. But it sounds like I can't, so I'm just gonna be hiding. Yeah, you have to move and then attack. You can't you can't uh, move, gotcha. attack, move, and you can't attack, move. Gotcha. All right. Uh, did anybody attack? Homer takes the lantern from Anjali. Nope. Fire ones. I mean, you know, except for a bow, you know, anyone with a bow. All right, Nob will try. I could attack, I think, and Adarellan could attack. I'm not sure where he went. Nob moves up, shoots with a bow. Oh, there he is. That. We'll be able to see Ouch. the next round. It's. Um, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good point. 16 hits for 6 damage. Which one are you shooting at? Um, Probably the closest. Okay. Uh, that would kill it. And they are just trying to harry you all, so I'm going to also make a morale check. They fell their morale check, and they flee down the dark tunnel. You can't go far. Drive them deeper and deeper. Oh, we don't get a we don't get a we don't get a, an initiative roll to try and shoot them as they run. Um, I'll say if anybody who was you know <clears throat> anyone who was already in that position to fire, if you did not fire, then you can do that. I don't know if anybody was missed, but no, you won't get a, like another round where you're gonna able to do that because you'd have to you another thing you have to get closer and you know, all this other stuff but and they're right there like all they have to do is get down into the the corridor so well so, onwards southwest passage i don't know if squints fired did squints he did not so i'll no, give squints a chance fire. yeah because he was right there so he'll move Could up knob and fire. have fired knob did fire and he did hit one uh, and actually, Squints killed one. Squints, Hawkeye. Okay, let's let's rifle those guys' uh, coin pouches real quick. Let's see. It's it seems petty, but literally every gold piece matters at this point. We're like, <laughs> as soon as we have enough for room and board, and then the toll, we're good. <laughs> exactly, which we're not there, by the way. We we might have we've the got, interest for the day. Plus my four gold that we started with, we've got 126 gold and 36 gold worth of assorted oddments. Gas money. That's all we need. <laughs> If you throw mine in, I have 16 gold we can use for that, and that's all, all right. I got. Nice. <laughs> Not much. All right, yeah, Southwest Passage, please. Let's uh, see how much gold pieces they have. Or, I'll tell you what, should should we, do you all think we could go down the path they just left from, just so that we don't get doubled back on? I mean, who's to, know, who's to say those passages don't link up later on, but... Well, and we know there's orcs down both passages, so... We know there's, yeah, one guy ran down the southwest passage, and then those six just came at us from the northwest, or sorry, yeah, northwest. Yeah, so... I mean, at this point, I think we go down to either one, we could get, we could get cornered. <laughs> it's yeah. not a sure thing either way. That's true. That's true. Could but... keep an elf towards the back just to well, keep we... an eye out. We're already back. You and me are already back in the back. And the, if, yeah. if the marching order is consistent. But I mean, like actually actively keeping an eye towards the back yeah that's what i we should assume that we're doing that i would like to assume that that's happening yeah. okay um okay so yeah the southwest passage okay um oh. i'm sorry did you search the orcs mm -hmm. oh, lost Steve. Um, dang it yeah yeah okay that takes time you go across the other side of the chamber search the orcs another 10 minutes passes and then you make it back, you reorganize, get all your stuff, everything, ha all that stuff happens. And uh, you find 50 gold pieces. They have looted nearby villages and they're carrying their shinies. All right. We've uh, we got a storm, so my internet may go out. Uh, and I was just saying that and said, so it might go out. And then I'm looking and I'm like, you guys are frozen right now, aren't you? <laughs> and sure enough. <laughs> 
Man, our Swords and Wizardry game yesterday got yoinked for that reason. Um, oh well. Okay, so you said, I'm sorry. So I just want to, I wanted to express the, the golds, and then you said Southwest. Is that right? Correct. Okay. So you come back to the Southwest Passage, and there's a corridor. Uh, it goes on. Let me clear all this stuff off here. It, uh, the corridor goes on for, um, uh, again, just endlessly. Just like 10, 15 minutes it goes on. Let me see if there's anything along the way. And this is the southwest one? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> as you go down this corridor, yeah, it just goes on seemingly forever. Uh, let's see. It's actually, let's see. 3690. Elmer leans into a Tharlin and says, You build these just for fun, don't you? Uh, it's a bit inconvenient right now, I admit. And, um, let's see, 306090, 306090. This corridor goes on for so long that you actually have to stop and rest. And three mm -hmm. three hours of dungeon time has passed, and your third torch goes out. Um, but Get the lantern. Yeah, lantern's still going strong. Uh, let's I see have here. more torches if need be. All right. Um, ah, as you go. Um, you find six sconces as well but as you go only one of the sconces has a torch in it that's lit it's lit about halfway down um, until you finally uh, see another chamber here that's also 80 feet by 80 feet it's identical to the last one with massive fat pillars. About six of them. Floor to ceiling. The ceiling 40 feet. A uh, concave, semicircular ceiling. Um, you don't see any kind of passages or holes or anything along the ceiling as you, as you go. But as you enter this antechamber, once again, it goes beyond the edge of your lantern light into the dark. Do those of us with infrared see any movement up on the walls or in the back? Roll a d6. I'll have Tharnwin roll a d6 as well. Do you want me just to do it for me or for the other two as well? You can do it for all your elves. Yeah. Oh, I got a one. Nice. Okay. Uh, piece of cake. Once again, not only do you see movement, but you see... Um... This is interesting. Did I not... Get one of these. I may actually have to get the book out for this. Fascinating. Oh no. I guess I didn't. Uh, I guess I missed this one. But you see a, uh, you see a huge hulking figure uh, coming around uh, once again, about to attack. Can we get some bow shots? Oh, he sees us. He he knows we're here. Well, so far, this is Alara. So, Alara, what do you do? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was muted. Am I able to identify what it is? Like, um, is it orc-sized or bigger? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is probably two and a half times the size of an orc. Oh, dear. So this is more like a troll. I'm going to have to get the monster out for this because I don't actually have it for some reason. And I don't want to try to interpret it off the AD&D thing because the math is just a smidge different. Don't forget about the, uh, excuse me, the SRD stuff on the uh, OSC website. I do like that. 
Uh, it does not have the advanced monsters. Although I think it would have this one. But, Ooh. Um, oh. Oh. Alright. It does not. Yeah. These things, uh, it looks like this. Nope. Oh, I don't my. like that. Mm -mm. And, um, yeah, what do you do, Alara? You see these things, they're they're ba they're trying to ambush you, but you see them. Them? Oh, no. It's worse. I didn't see what they were because my Discord was glitching, but I'm guessing troll-like things. Oh, yes, Hungry. cute troll things. We're going to go with that. Oh, I love that. That's great. So what do you do? Um, Am I able to shoot an arrow at the same time that I call out a warning? No, but you can, if if uh, if you yell out a warning and try to do that right away, I will have a chance for them to be surprised. I'll give them a chance to be surprised. So it's not guaranteed, but it, you might. I'm definitely going to warn everyone about them because... Yeah, try it. All right. Cave trolls! All right, let me see if they're surprised by this. And they are. Nice. You that's, that's excellent news. You can start uh, with your elves. You can fire with all your elves, and uh, anyone else can also turn and fire. I will move. I don't have a token for this, so I'm going to use like a big orc one. Does a D15 hit? Uh, a, a it's a, a 15 hit. I mean, it does hit, but I'm not ready to take the math yet. I apologize. I need to get a. Uh, um, something set up here for this because weirdly I didn't actually have this one ready for some reason okay there we go all right so I have two hits so far and where this became this became the Moria game this is the like the Moria <laughs> TSR module though so it's fitting oh we actually are hitting things this time yeah nice. look at that eh is because yeah. I'm sure for uh, once they're too big to miss if you if anyone hits with a uh, to hit a uh, ascending armor class 14 let me know and also ping and tell me which one you're shooting so I can know which one to um, um so points. I'm gonna say we're gonna go for the one on the right all right uh, how much and damage? We had... How much damage was it? Doo, doo, doo. Adarellan hit it with five damage. I hit it with two. And I hit it with... Where's the other one? Three. Three. Okay. Um, arrow's striking at this thing and it, it howls uh, in pain. What did you say about Helmer? Uh, Pablo hit for six. Nice. Which one are you shooting at? Uh, the one on the right as well. All right. Yeah, they were not expecting this. In fact, with that surprise, um, if they lose the initiative, they'll do a morale check. But um, let's see. Who else can shoot? The hobbits can shoot. Mm hmm. Is Rutbite Ben able to shoot? Yeah, he should be able to shoot too. People am able to hit. Because no, these are, they're, I, I can't roll above a ten. Oh man, yeah, they, they're close by. I need to track ammo also, because uh, we're burning up ammo. So I'm gonna True. put that. Say that he's fired five, because that's that's pretty. I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, where is my other Hobbit? Did I leave him? Yeah, I left him. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Alone in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Guys? <laughs> I don't like this. Someone took a nap. All right. So Who they touched missed. my leg? All right. Now, um, Alara, roll a d6 for initiative as well. You have to beat a five. Or get a five or beat it. All right. <laughs> They are able yep. to attack, so they are going to try to do that. This one rushes forward. Now, this order of march is dorked up, I know. So, 
the bow shooters are kind of off to the side, right? And then you have this like phalanx. Is that kind of the what 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 we're doing? Let's do it that way. Yep. Okay, and then all the bow shooters are off shooting bows to the side, right? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. You can move them. Um, okay. Uh, if that's the case, this one's going to charge forward and attack Tharnlin. Tharnlin's just always there. He's just always there. He's Tharnlin. hurt a lot, though, isn't he? He is hurt, yes. He's not, like, dead. He's 13 of 18 hit points. Oh. Okay, misses. Pretty cool. And then this one's going to charge forward and attack Pablo. Uh, it's got four, so it does a... 4, 13, I think she's in plate armor though. 17, yeah, not yeah. even close. Yeah, once you guys are actually in combat with the knights, it's bad news. With her plate armor and shields and being able to attack just not having rank. It. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then time passes. And let's see if any reinforcements show up. They do not. Okay. You all can uh, attack. Okay, Ayana and Anjali are switching to their lances. Get ranged attacks still if we swing around. Yeah, everybody can do all their attacks. Ranged attacks, okay. melee attacks, attacks from the second rank, everything. Uh, your target is uh, armor class 14. Lance for one damage. Not roll above a 10. I haven't been used. Uh, is uh, who's rolling for Lieutenant Ephalia? Uh, I, I thought you were. You can do okay, three I attacks would. for her right now because, like, you have missed three. I mean, I missed it, and you're right because she's not one of your knights, but you think oh, of her right. as like a liaison, so she's she's sort of in that. All right, there's a, a plummeting of various times of damaging. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's see. All together we got four. Three is seven, plus four. Four is 11. Okay, that finishes this one. And does quite a bit of damage to this one over here, too. Okay, and... Let's see. Uh, anybody else able to attack? I think the did the hobbits already attack? If we did bows. I don't think I did the hobbits. I don't think they attacked yet. Yeah, I don't. On, they did the surprise round, but I don't. Think no, they, they didn't attack this round. Yeah. Okay. Um, Was it above a ten we needed to get them, or a fourteen? Fourteen. Okay. All right. So hey, squints hits. One ten. And I think that where's Nob at? There he is. And Nob finishes. Ooh, nice. It just hits him in the head. Yeah, and they uh, they slump loudly to the ground. Should we make sure we behead them? Yeah. Why not? I've I've heard legends and and, uh, and burn some of them too. And light a torch and burn around the things just in case. It produces a horrible acrid smell. Uh, and oh, regret. The uh, the smoke, you know, fills a portion of the chamber, but the chamber is so vast that it still doesn't fill all of it. Um, yeah, what do you do next? Well, okay, so there's still only one road out of this, the one we came in and the one proceeding in the same direction, or? Uh, let's see here. Any swag on these guys? We, we, yeah, we need, to, we need to search the, the trolls before we move on. So, I'll, I'll describe 
Okay, so you take some time to search the bodies and stuff like that as well. Okay. Um, I'll describe the area, and then I'll tell you what you find on these, uh, these, these things. Uh, <clears throat> so, massive chamber. This chamber is identical to the last one. 80 feet by 80 feet, circular, semicircular. And you came from the, uh, what is now your northeast, above and to the right on the top-down 2D map, right? There is a identical um, corridor leading off to the northwest. So, you know. Um, additionally, there's a section uh, all along... So this chamber is identical to the last one, except that the south and southwest portion of the chamber, the walls, uh, it looks as if someone has, it looks like they were trying to dig into the walls and there are chunks of stone missing. Um, and this goes beyond just defacing the, uh, the art from the dwarves. Uh, it looks like they were trying to do something. Um, and, uh, when you check around the room, you see more pallets of, and boxes of things that they brought in here. You see huge clubs that probably would be used by these beasts and, uh, cured skins, uh, two of which you think, uh, are from a exotic cat, probably worth 80 gold pieces each. Now you have to sell these, you know, but the charisma check is what I do. Um, a bunch of animal bones, broken weapons, and smashed armor bits. And then there are two, um, oh, who's searching the, the room? Everybody? Yeah, I mean, I would like to, after we search the trolls, then search the room. Yeah. I'm probably gonna stay on alert and just watch the two passageways, just so nothing sneaks up on us. Okay. Yeah, it seems like... If I, as long for... as I'm facing northwest and northeast, I think I can maybe Adarell can help me with it. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, was I'm... it was it eighty gold for both together or eighty gold apiece for those cat skins that you have estimated? Each. Okay. Wait, what were you gonna say? Yeah. Yeah. It's well, we're... sort of thiefy trap checking or anything that. Needs to be done. I don't know if I'm any good at it, but I count them. Yeah, you could. Yeah. You you could check the um. You could check the boxes if you want. It just takes uh. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's all. But yeah, everybody else besides the two elves that she mentioned uh, shouldn't be searching the room after the mm -hmm. trolls. Did okay. we already find out what we found on the trolls? No, I'm still kind of describing things. Oh, but, okay, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Ben, if you want to check the boxes uh, and take the time to check for traps and stuff, you can do that. It's up to you. Yeah, and I guess the other... So the the diff, the chunks are missing. Does it look like... So they were if something they were trying to do. I don't guess that wouldn't be a trap sort of thing, though. So... Um. Yeah, I just I'm gonna search the boxes for anything hidden or you know, secret. Okay, um, you can make both a fine traps, a skill check, and a dexterity check. Or actually, this would be yeah a dexterity check. Um, everybody else searching the room can roll a d6, um, including any elves that are not watching, uh, watching guard, keeping guard. Fine traps, well. It's only a 25% chance, so I wouldn't have found anything if there was. And then you said it was a D6 check, or what was the other one? Well, you're so, checking the boxes, so you, you'll you just do that mm -hmm. uh, during this round. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, you can also do a dexterity check, a roll under dexterity. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, you find that uh, one of the, um, the boxes, and Tharnlin is about to lift it, you see that it's set off the ground on by something that has lifted it just slightly off the ground. I was like, hold on there, throw on this. So is it like a pressure plate kind of thing or? 
Uh, when you take a look at it, it looks almost like, so all the other boxes are just haphazardly put in here. This one, it looks like there's something that just holds the lid. Uh, so first of all, it's lifted just slightly off the floor. And then the lid has something that spaces like a, like a little spacer. Um, you don't think these beasts could have done that, you know, that, but it looks like it was added to this box. Let's see. And it's... Go ahead. Sorry. So the box, where did, I mean, this, what kind of box is, it? I guess, is it like it's not it's... dwarven make like the suppress the dungeon is no, something they excluded yeah. from a town? Right. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah. It's a, uh, a uh, not a crate, but a, uh, what do you call it? A, a pallet. A pallet. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very rustic, right? Uh, so to ha so it, it doesn't make any sense to have a spacer. It's not like this is some kind of jewelry box or something. Yeah. Maybe uh, if we're going to open that, use a 10-foot pole or something just to be safe. Let's see if else has. I mean, I don't know. Does anybody have a 10-foot pole? I do. All right. Um, all right. Uh, do you use the 10 foot pole on it? Would it be better for someone with a better dexterity to do it, or does it not matter? I can do it if. I, I think I actually had a 10 foot pole as well, but. Okay. So, I mean, just kind of sure. open it from a distance kind of thing. If it kind of poked it, try and get it in, in the little gap and see if anything. Um, yeah. Okay. So what do I'm sorry, what do you do? You, you take the, so it's, it's, there's a, it's on a little, so I'm guess I'm still trying to figure out what, if it's raised up and there's a little bit of a gap in there, uh, it seems like a mechanism for where some sort of trap sort of thing could go off and, and I assume in the gap, um, it's not yeah. built into the ground or anything. Is no. it? Yeah, no, it, it's something that's just set on top. It's set on top of something, and then the lid of the thing mm -hmm. is it has little spacers that um, mm -hmm. you know, like you'd put underneath a piece of furniture or a couch or something, um, which doesn't make any sense for a pallet, which is kind of like junk, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'm getting the pole and just trying to lift the lip, separate it, and see if anything. All right, you take where the, pole the spacers are and. Pop, mm. and it actually it pops off, and all of a sudden there's a swirl of dust uh, and musty air around it. But you stay away until finally it settles. Now, I know we're almost out of time. I'm going to tell you all two more things, and then we'll finish. Okay, um, this will finish describing the room. <laughs> uh, okay, so you've opened all the boxes. Uh, so other than the uh, the um, the the animal skins uh you also find pouches of stuff that you know another 55 gold pieces and um and then lastly uh one of the people uh is is kind of poking at because you all roll d6s and i roll d6s right uh to search you said you searched the room right yes okay um this is the fourth hour of dungeon time. Your fourth torch goes out. Your lantern goes out. You have to rest. Um, let me check. See if anything shows up real quick. It does not. And one of the knights is like, this isn't part, this has been added. This is gypsum. He starts chipping away. And chunks of stuff fall from the southern wall. Revealing... A uh, an ancient dwarven door covered in runes, and that's where we'll end the session for the night.